Hey everybody, George here with The Art of Water. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna show you something here that's really frustrating to me, and as you'll see in a second, you'll be pretty frustrated with this whole thing too. As I come out here into the entryway of my home, we have a box with a 40 gallon Fuji Cube tank that was custom made for me. And as I opened it, I was really excited, of course, about getting this because it's taken a while to get here. But as you can see, as I pan down here, this did not get here in the best of condition. And I'm going to explain to you why and how close it came to getting here in perfect condition with the exception of a UPS driver who thought he was pretty macho. Now, one of the things I'm going to show you before we get into the damage and everything. I'm going to talk to you about how Fuji Cube and probably many other people that sell these size custom aquariums or, uh, you know, uh, already built aquariums, whatever, uh, how they probably do most of their packaging. Now, Fuji Cube told me that they're required to have three inches between the box and the glass. So we have this cube right here of foam. Another cube of foam. We have edges of foam all the way around on the thing. Also on the very bottom, as you can see, same thing. And it is a double boxed. Now, if you look at the bottom on the double boxing, you can also see there is foam at the bottom all the way around. What happened here is as the driver was delivering this yesterday, I could see on my security cameras that he came up the driveway, parked, pulled in backwards, lifted this thing out of the truck himself, bear hugged it all the way to my house. I could see him struggling, stopping several times to, you know, get a handle on this thing because it's extremely heavy. It took two of us to get it in from my porch before I knew it was even broke uh, to my house, to the inside of the house, I should say. And uh, this is not something one person should try to lift on their own. Now, when I talked to Fuji Cube, they met all the specifications they were supposed to meet. So UPS, yeah, this is on them. Now, the video also shows as he comes up to the sidewalk to the front of the house, that's where the problem happens. Literally five steps from my door. Now, this comes all the way from Minnesota to my home and makes it all the way here with all of these stickers on it that say fragile, weighs over 70 pounds, heavy package, caution, fragile, fragile. I mean, you name it. It's got fragile written all over it. There is no reason in the world why someone should try to lift this. Anyways, he gets literally five steps from my house and the thing slips out of his hand and I can see it go down on this corner here uh, in the back side. You can see that's exactly what happened because the styrofoam broke there and uh, the pressure obviously uh, on that corner, if you look down in there, you can see that's where the crack starts is right on that corner. And also you can see that at the bottom of the box here where it is crushed right here. So I don't know what this guy was thinking. Very, very frustrated. I got to tell you, Fuji Cube was very good about this. They're going to get one of these out on a rush order for me because I have a project coming up that I need to get done and uh, really thought that I would be starting on this today, um, but that's not gonna happen, obviously. So it'll be probably a week or so before the new one gets here, but uh, at least they're gonna make it right. They do have the video. I sent them pictures of all of this. I sent them a copy of the video of the guy coming up the driveway, and they told me that they marked these things as heavy and that they should be a dolly used on them. And that did not happen, obviously. I can tell you that maybe most of the way it did, but it did not do that when it got to my home here. So I don't know. I don't know what to say about this UPS driver. UPS asked me not to say anything negative about their driver. 
Um, the only thing I'm going to say is I don't care what UPS says. That is just stupid. This guy, um, you know, doing that kind of thing on something that says fragile, clearly that it's over 70 pounds, uh, should not be hauling something in. He wasn't even a very big guy. He really wasn't even a very big guy. So the whole thing is just so frustrating, so frustrating, because it just did not have to be something that happened. It is just totally insane that it happened this way. Anyways, uh, my frustrations, uh, I got that out of my system. I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel. And I uh, hope everybody will hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, even though this is not something you should like. But And leave your comments if you've had any experiences like this with any other companies or with Fuji, uh, Fuji Cube uh, Aquariums. Um, let me know. But uh, anyways, this is George with The Art of Water, and we will talk again soon.